Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. I have what? Seven beers left that I can choose from here. Put that over here. We'll put that over here. So today's beer will be this one. This one is from Castle Brewing up in Castleman, Ontario, which is up past Ottawa. I actually had a cousin whose last name was Castleman. Anyway, this is a Golden Rail Honey Brown Ale. It's 5% alcohol. I did have Golden Rail once before. It was sent to me by the one and only Guy. But that was back when... Uh, I would say Mario back then would probably have had a little bit of a uh, little bit of problems with, shall we say, consistency and shelf life. And from what I hear, it's much better now. I picked this up at the King Street LCBO in St. Catharines. You would not think the LCBO that's surrounded by the St. Catharines uh, bus station, the James Street uh, Methadone Clinic. And is one of the smallest LCBOs in the region. Would have the best craft beer selection. But they do. I didn't tell you the ABV on this. I do apologize for that. It is 5%. Five, 5% 5 alcohol by volume. There we go. Beautiful honey color. It actually looks like Cisco honey. Which is the honey we use at work. A uh, little white head was up there. There's just a little line now at the very top. It's a nice looking beer smell. A nice, a nice actual like clover honey scent mixed with a nice floral scent. Yeah, floral and clover honey is what I'm getting even out of the uh, bottle. Let's try it. Cheers. Okay, so this isn't really my thing, but it's not a bad beer. Uh, you take taste like Sleeman Honey Brown, and you take, uh, I don't know, um, Uni Brew Honey, which is kind of the same thing, since they're owned by the same company and all that. And you take uh, a f any of the macro Honey Browns. Now this has more flavor to it solely because it has a nice grassy slash earthy uh, hop finish. Forefront's about the same though, a, a slight maltiness and a slight honey taste, very slight, just very sweet. Um, not a bad beer, not a bad beer at all. If you're a big honey brown fan, this is a beer for you. If, if that's the type of beer you're after, if you like Sleeman Honey Brown, you like Uni Brew Honey, you like uh, any of those type of beers, this is a nice craft variant of it where you're actually supporting a, a local business and your money's staying in the country. It's not having the profits go out to Japan. The profits will stay here in, in Canada. Um, Theoretically, as long as Mario doesn't spend the profits on something out in Japan. Um, which is always quite possible, especially with the way the economy is now. I mean, hell, yeah, you never know what's going to happen. But um, all that being said, yeah, it's a nice little beer. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, reminds me of, say, Slim and Honey Brown or any other honey brown out there in that it has that slight mm, roasted malt well not even roasted just slight slight darker heavier malt taste with a slight honey taste the only real difference is this one has that hop flavor coming up the back end 
I like it. I'm not a big fan of the style, so it's not really my thing. But I like the beer. Uh, out of 10 on this beer, oh, what would I give this out of 10? Um... Six point seven five, just because I don't look for honey browns ever. Uh, only reason. I'm gonna pour the rest in here. I'm gonna go watch some episodes of Your Pretty Face is Gonna Get Dragged to Hell. And that's gonna be my night. So thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful, splendiferous evening. Bye bye.